Eleven years on, Paul McCartney is the only one of the four to have survived the first part of the 1970s as a cult hero. He's a fleshier, heavier Beatle these days, respectably married, a successful businessman. And when the kids come to his concerts, they don't scream anymore, they listen. Critically, his new group, Wings, haven't been acclaimed like the Beatles. But there can be no doubt about their pulling power. 14,000 people went to see their last two concerts in Melbourne. First time in Australia for 11 years. Yes. How do you think, how do, how do you think your style and your techniques have changed since then, since the days when you came with the Beatles? Um, I don't know, really. You know, it's just... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's different. You know, it's different. Then I think the main difference was that uh, the audience was mainly a screaming audience, like Bay City Rollers type audience now, uh, more of a kids audience. And now I think we've got more kind of people who want to listen. So we try and cater for them all. Too, like you know, how important is it to you to perform before a live audience in this way? I mean, most people think of you as being a very rich man who presumably would have no need at all to to perform before a live audience ever again. You could just go well, back I'll to Well, I'll tell you, uh, we were in Nashville, and have you ever heard of a guitar player called Jerry Reed? He's a really good American. And we were talking to him, and I was saying that I was going to go on the road. And he said, man, if I was Paul McCartney, I'd buy the road. <laughs> <laughs> now, the only thing is, I mean, I don't really agree with that, because I like kind of getting out there and like a live reaction, you know. And I, li I like playing to people, you know. We had a ball tonight. Yeah, you uh, it's good when they start doing, lighting up candles and stuff. There's nothing yeah. like it. You can't you, get it in the kind of sterile conditions of a studio. Do, How do you personally oh, I, regard the work you've done since the Beatles split the, the four albums, isn't it? Red Rose. It's uh, more than four. Well, yeah. I think it's, um, uh, you know, improving. With age? I think it's improving with age. I think it's, there's, there's some good stuff and some bad stuff, you know, I mean, like, yeah. like everything, you know. Does it concern you that it hasn't perhaps received the critical acclaim that uh, some of the work you did with the critical. Beatles has? Critics! Critics! No, not really, you know, because, um, not really, because, you know, you, I say, you know, you, you, the critics, like, they'll tell you one thing, you know, and a fan will tell you another thing, so... And critics are always three years behind. I mean... When Sgt. Pepper okay, came out, there was a fellow in New York who panned it and said it's the lousiest album ever, you know. Um, I didn't agree with him, you know, but he had his opinion then, you know. So, uh, some people say that, like, an album like mean? McCartney is kind of a bit kind of um, underproduced. unsophisticated, underproduced and stuff. And yet you get people who kind of... I'm, some bloke I met, he said he was in Moscow, he was on a news well, team. I liked it, my son. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. Obviously, he's a friend of mine here already. Yeah. Rod Stewart in the face oh, as well. It's one of those things. Yes. Some people like it, some people don't. So you can't please all the people all the time, as Richard M. Nixon once said. Yes. Remember him? He got shot. Stop. Him. He's a good lad. <laughs> the Rolling Stone uh, article well, recently. Like Could it. I quote you a bit of that? Oh, See yeah. how you come. <laughs> Lennon's wit and abrasive probing were needed to balance McCartney's melodic That's charm Rolling and sweetness. Oh, sweetness! Oh, He's the worst. He's the worst of a lot of them, mate. If you want He's to a do nasty it. one, this man. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm the sweet. Worst of a lot. Do you regard yourself as a, as a romantic songwriter in that sense? <laughs> Well, quite candidly, no. 